guys so today I wanted to make a really quick video as you can see I'm in my car a lot of my videos are in my car because I have like literally five minutes and I, I just think let me just make a quick update and post it so um, I wanted to make a really quick video to kind of just give you guys an update on my life how the divorce is going um, the girls my job just how I'm doing overall and then you guys just let me know in the comments below what questions you may have or what you want me to go into more detail um the reason why i got divorced is probably not something that i'm going to answer but anything other than that just leave them in the comments below and i'll try to make a separate video and and answer you guys so um <clears throat> i think the last update that I made about the divorce was a little bit of a negative one not negative but I was just not I mean I was in a really emotional place like I was really sad about everything and before that it was just all really happy and now I'm back up again and obviously divorce is not a good thing it's not something you want to happen to you and not something that you ever think is gonna happen to you until you're there um, but um, but I'm definitely much, much happier. I'm 100% um, content with the decision that I made. I have, and I know I've said this multiple times, but I'm so, I, I'm so, I have so much more patience with the girls and they are completely different. Like I've noticed a change in their behavior. They are just sweeter and just more loving and they're behaving so much better. I mean, they are just perfect right now they're doing really 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 good um audrey's now two aria is three and a half she turns four in december and she just they both talk non-stop it's it's incredible they're really smart they're doing really good in school they love school they're doing absolutely great um as far as for me i think i had made a quick work related update a few months ago um telling you guys that i was gonna um I think apply or I was in the process of getting a project manager position um, that actually ended up going through as project lead and I was very unhappy about that because I had been kind of the same level as a lead for the past four years so in my eyes it wasn't a promotion and it wasn't what was promised to me so that took um, that was about a month ago and no maybe maybe even more than that it, that was probably around four months ago and it really brought me down a lot because I was just kind of thinking like where am I in my career you know I, I got this master's and I and I've been working so hard at this company for what you know so it was kind of a turning point and I I kind of pushed back a lot with my um, my VP and my director and I said no I'm not gonna accept it I want what was promised to me or nothing out like I didn't want that position so I fought for it um, and I got something even better um, I'm extremely happy right now I am now an optimization manager and there's a lot of politics that are kind of behind the screen behind the scenes that you don't really realize and that's kind of why my whole title change wasn't really happening as we intended it to um, once I understood some of the details I understood why it happened but I still wasn't okay with it so I'm glad I kind of stood up for myself because a lot of people don't and they just don't get what they deserve because they don't stand up for themselves so um, I'm a firm believer that it shouldn't be this difficult that you should just get what you deserve and it shouldn't you shouldn't be fighting for it but I'm here and I'm really happy with um, where I am in my career now um, I'm really loving every day um, as an optimization manager has been really really good it's been a learning curve for me because I'm more into the IT side that I thought I would ever be so it's a little bit different of a world that I'm not used to but nonetheless I'm really really happy um, in that sense and then uh, dating um, some of you guys were asking me if I'm dating if Jamie's dating what's the status with that um, so we are both dating other people obviously <laughs> um, it all really started because before he even left the house 
um, he got on Match and he got on eHarmony. And I was upset, not because he was out and dating, because I told him he's more... After I filed, I said, you can do whatever you want. You know, it wasn't um, that I was upset about that. I was more upset about the fact that he was still living in the same house and that it was still our money. And he just spent like $150 on Match and $150 on eHarmony. And I felt like that was a little bit... Um, not unfair but just like he wasn't really thinking through things and um so when he did that i said i'm gonna get on match too i hated match i was on match for a month didn't even go on one date it was absolutely terrible i don't even think i i don't even think i had conversations with people i just hated match it was terrible for me i really didn't like it at all jamie actually told me to try eHarmony. he liked it a lot better how it was structured you have questions people ask it kind of forces you to really truly get to know the person and not just kind of match and want to meet the other person um but i didn't do it i just felt like i i had such a bad experience with match that i didn't want to do eHarmony or spend money on something that i wasn't happy with so um once he left the house you know um and we were apart for a bit I got on Bumble and it Bumble is similar to tinder in the sense that you it's an app it's a dating app and then you kind of swipe to the left if you don't like the person swipe to the right if you do but what I did like about Bumble is um, one the quality of the candidates how I like to see it um, was really good like there was professionals there lawyers and doctors and um, architects and just peop really interesting people not just I don't know it's always a red flag when you see entrepreneur or student I mean I don't know so the candidates the level was definitely there and also the fact that only the girls can talk to the guys the guys can't reach out to the girls until the girl reaches out to the guy so for example I swipe right somebody swipes right on me and we are a match they tell that person Adriana and you are now a match and they tell me and then I have 24 hours to send him a message and then once I send him that message he has 24 hours to send me a message back once we both send a message then there's no time restrictions um, we could just kind of keep talking at a regular pace but um, the initial the initial match uh, has to be done by the girl or the, the initial communication has to start from the girl which I like because you don't get bombarded by all these people you may not be interested in and obviously the guys like it because it's the girl approaching the guys so I got on um, Bumble I went on a few dates Jamie has probably the last time I spoke to him about this we talk about this all the time we have a very good relationship that still stands um, if he has a date or something or work and, um, and he has the girls or whatever I, I take them or I pick them up from school and vice versa we normally try to date obviously on days that we don't have the girls but um, if he's busy I take the girls if I'm busy he takes the girls it's we have a really good relationship divorce relationship I guess um, so I've been on a few dates I've been on some from hell um, really bad dates that I just think I I've really never dated ever in my life because I I've been with Jamie for let's say like nine years we've been married for eight years and we didn't even date I felt like he asked me to Flanagan's and he had a bunch of friends there I went with a friend we had lunch and ever since then we kind of just hung out every single weekend it was never like let me take you out to a restaurant let me take you out here I think he took me out to one restaurant and that was probably the only date we had and with other people that I was with it was never like a dating experience it was always oh come to my friend's house and we just hung out and then we became boyfriend and girlfriend and that was it I never had the proper let's go out a date to have drinks here then the next week let's go out to have dinner here and so forth it was always um I never really dated let's just say and when you've been out of the game for 10 years it's very scary it's not a great experience but um but I'm enjoying it um Jamie's also dating a, well he says he's not dating right now but he's talking to like maybe 12 different girls so I think that's kind of dating He's just not taking them out, maybe, but um, eventually I guess he'll get there. And before these 
12 or 13 or how many <laughs> it's crazy number um he went on a few dates actual dates i would say with like maybe five different people five different girls um multiple times with the same girl um but obviously he hasn't introduced any of these girls to the girls i haven't introduced anybody to the to the girls i think it would have to be something very very serious i mean months and months and months of dating before i introduce somebody to the girls i mean it has to be like an official boyfriend that i actually see a future with to introduce them to the girls because i don't want people just coming in and out of their lives obviously i don't think anybody thinks that way um so we have established that between jamie and i not to introduce anybody to the girls unless one we've talked about it together and two that it's something obviously serious and that it's gonna go somewhere so that's um where we are at if you guys are going through a similar experience try bumble it's pretty good my boss also is kind of she was divorced probably a month before i was and she got on bumble too and she's been on a couple of dates and it's just a really good app i've, I've enjoyed it. i've hated match um like i mentioned jamie kind of liked eHarmony, but i never experienced that and bumble's just been really good um i think jamie's yeah jamie's on bumble and tinder as well and i'm pretty sure he's on match and eHarmony as well that's probably why he has so many candidates um and that's it for my quick little update i actually just came back from my first dolphins meeting i'm at the stadium like the stadium was like right here and i just had to get some food because i didn't have breakfast i had to be there at 9 30 and it's now 1 44 so i stopped at sonics and got myself some food i got a philly cheesesteak and some hash browns and um it was a little bit awkward because last year i did the whole ambassadors program uh cheerleading guest relations experience with jamie so everybody asked about him everybody was like how's your husband and i'm like good and then if they kept pushing it i would say we're not divorced thank you he's not gonna be here this year <laughs> so it's been very awkward day i guess because i literally had to tell without exaggerating 18 people that i was now divorced which is not something i announced like at work most people don't even know i'm divorced only a few people um just because i just don't announce it i don't go around saying by the way i'm divorced now you know i just when people find out people find out and if they don't find out they don't find out you know i it's not something i am happy to go around announcing i'm not i don't know it's i guess a personal decision but i just i just don't really talk about it unless people specifically ask me about it and then sometimes when people ask me like some t some people at the stadium are like how's your husband i'm like good because i just didn't even want to get into it with them but if they kept saying like oh is he gonna come this year you know what is he gonna do what is he doing and then i say look we're divorced you know it, it's it's good you know it's not because uh, then they're like oh sorry i'm like no it's good we're both very happy you know and it, it's a positive thing not a negative thing and then they're like well i'm glad to hear that but you know it's awkward to spend the whole day kind of explaining yourself and letting the world know that you are now divorced um so it kind of sucks but at the same time i am very very happy I do not regret anything at all um, and and yeah if you guys have any questions at all leave them down below I hope I answered most questions I think um, I'm not really sure what else you guys would want to want to know I know I'm not gonna say why we got divorced but just leave me a comment below and I will make a separate video answering all of your questions I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you later bye guys